Hi, I'm Mike Gibson, District President of the Pacific Southwest District. It's been quite a year, hasn't it? All the COVID stuff that we've been dealing with, and now this week, as we live our way still through a rather contentious election season, and I've been doing some thinking, some things that I thought that I might want to share with you that are on my heart and that I hope would be helpful for each of you. First of all, I want to encourage you, have an eternal perspective. Remember, the world, the earth, is the Lord's and everything in it. So often we get so focused on the things that are going on right in front of us that we miss the perspective that above everything else that's going on in our world, God is in charge. This is His world, and it is His goal that people would know our Savior Jesus Christ. That's His plan. That's His purposes. Don't let the other stuff distract you too much from that. Secondly, it gives us a confidence, a trust, and a peace to know that God has not walked away from anything that we do, but is with us every single day. And that we would know always that I can be certain and confident no matter what's going on around me because he's the God who formed me, shaped me, and loved me. I can live at peace. And thirdly, we then as the church can live the contrast, that we get to offer something that is different, a perspective that is so contrasting from what our world is experiencing in all of this conflict, all of this contentiousness, all of this uncertainty, that we can live and be the, an example of what it means to live with a trust and a faith in a God who has all things in his hands. And then I think of Jesus' words, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, your mind. And then what? Love your neighbor as yourselves, even those that disagree with you. To remember that God's desire for us is to have this relationship with other people so that they might know Jesus through the love and the care that we have for them. And then when there's contention and disagreement even in the church during seasons like this, Learn to love each other even more because it's so important for the world to look from the outside in and say, wow, how they love each other. And then get engaged. Be part of the process. If there's things that you see going on in our world today, care about them because it's who we are as followers of Christ. We get to be Jesus' hands and feet and mouths and we get to be his heart as we love other people in the world. If you're interested in political rea realities, get engaged, make a difference. Use the stewardship that you have as a child of God with your own vocation of what it means to be a follower of Jesus no matter what you do for the sake of others knowing him too. And then my last word is actually my first word, pray, pray for our nation, pray for our world, pray for the healing of COVID. I think of the Apostle Paul's words to a, a young pastor, certainly in times of uncertainty, when you think of all the persecution of that early church, where the Apostle Paul writes to Timothy in chapter two of his first epistle, these words, first of all then, I urge that supplications and prayers and intercessions and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings, and for all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. This is good, and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. You see, that brings us full circle back to where I started. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. And even as we go through this time, COVID, elections, don't be afraid. Be remembered that you are people of peace because you've got a God who holds it all in his hands. May God bless you and give you great joy as you live out the contrast as a follower of Jesus Christ.